Today, we're going to tear off a heat shield from an old Intel CPU so that it could be used in a Mac Pro dual CPU upgrade. Because the dual CPU, it requires the heat shield to be off. But when you buy them off AliExpress, they're going to come with the heat shield on. Now, this applies to the X line. W, you can only use one CPU. X, you can use two. Um, I'll be delitting a W here because they're the exact same. Uh, key things to know. If you look at one that's actually been delitted, you'll notice that there's little resistors around the outside edge except for one spot, right? This spot with no resistors is where we're going to try to line up here and make sure that the vice I'm gonna use, this is gonna be really uh, an extreme setup in a sense of it's extremely cheap, uh, doesn't clip off any of the resistors. So you wanna use it and align it to the spot that doesn't have any. So that looks like we've got a notch and some of the, all right, so boom. This is the layout that we're gonna use. All right, so we're gonna put the vise along the bottom corner here where there's no resistors. So you can actually see how that's gonna play out. Now, it's fairly straightforward. You put some tape on the vise and then you just start cranking on it until it pops. The cool thing about using a vise is that it's only going to apply as much pressure as you apply, right? Using other methods, um, you could accidentally have some sort of a device that continues to push once the heat shield gives in. But the cool thing with this vise, it applies just the amount of pressure that you want in order for it to pop off the heat shield. So that's what we're gonna do now. We're gonna jam this thing in the vise and uh, tear off the heat shield. Let's do it. Okay, so I've got my Amazon vise here and, <laughs> and a little bit of tape along the edge that'll be making contact here with the PCB, if that's what you call it. And I've not got this even connected to the to the table. Um, so this corner here is the one without the resistors. So I'm gonna actually make contact with this heat spreader with the metal part of the vise here. And then on the opposite end is where the tape's gonna hold in place. And you'll see I just wanna ratchet this in. Okay, it's, make sure we got it. Pretty good contact there. And then you just slowly bring her in, just a little bit at a time, nothing too crazy. And the solder that is actually holding in this CPU, you start to hear it pop eventually here. Once again, firm, it'll just keep going. Eventually it'll shoot off into the distance, no joke. This is where you could, oh, okay. So I felt it give a little bit. Let's see if it's loose. Uh, give, it gave a little bit, so a tiny bit more. There we go, it's off. Okay. You can see it sort of slid a little bit, boom. Heat shield is off, the solder just sort of ripped, and you can actually use a fingernail to peel some of this off. That's just the solder, it's sort of like, yeah. I mean, it's, it's solid, but it's not that solid. Uh, but there you go. Just go ahead and do this to a couple X5675s and you now have delitted CPUs that you can install into a uh, 2009 through 2012 dual CPU Mac. Pretty cool. Overall, straightforward. Just remember tape and padding on one side. Don't rip off your resistors <laughs> on the other side. But there you go. I don't actually need these CPUs. So hey, sort of fun to test it out with it. Um, so that is the vice method.